Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for You. Today I have an exciting project. I think it's exciting. Um, something to do with these empty boxes. No, we're not going to make another book. However, if you want to play, find out. Let's get started. Um, yes, I could tell you what we're making, but that would spoil the surprise. All right, so you open the box. And you find out where inside it's connected. Like right there. Open that up. Take the plastic off. Sometimes it comes off really nicely and other times not so much. So you just need the opening exposed. If you want, you can um, clean that up because this one's really rough. All right, so then for this project, we're going to cut all these ends off. We're only going to leave the side pieces. This is the bottom, and we're going to cut this off as well. You can actually keep that bottom piece for later. I will get rid of these little ones because I run into trouble when I keep too much. All right, then you can fold that over and maybe you can imagine what we're gonna make. What we're gonna make is a tag, a large tag with a window. And the trickiest part probably will be the flap at the rear because I want to put paper inside here. And two, if you want to keep the, the box the way it is, if you like the design on the box and you don't mind it being shiny, you can skip this part. But what I want to do is, first of all, clean up the window and I want to make this not shiny. I, I don't mind the uh, design on the box, so I want to keep that for this one. But I want this part not to be shiny. What I might do is do the sandpaper thing. I'll do that on top of my garbage can though, so. Okay, that's pretty clean. Now what I want to do is, um, I don't like the shiny part. I mean, it might be okay, but I just prefer to have it without. So before I do something about that, I'm just going to see how much of an overlap there is at the back. It's about an inch. And not all boxes are the same. I for sure want to take this flap off and maybe cut the same amount over here. So 
So I'm just going to take half an inch off each side. So I made this one earlier and I'm just going to make it roughly the same. But I think I'm going to leave the height for now. I did take a little bit off for this one, but seems to me this one will actually fit in my journals. Okay, so what I have here is two different boxes. One is quite a bit wider, so that might be something to consider. Um, let's see. So, I know I cut this one down, but I, this one is wider. I did not touch that part. So, here for the back, um, I've got just a tiny overlap now, which is maybe two eighths of an, oh, a quarter of an inch, I guess, almost. Look at that, the patterns line up. So, mostly. I'm gonna leave that, I guess. So then, because I don't want it shiny, what I'm going to do do I mind if it's shiny I mean there's worse things than shiny I might actually leave that one but if you didn't want it shiny here's what you could do I'm going to cover this one so it doesn't really matter. What I'm going to do if I don't want the shiny is I made some matte gel medium. I found a recipe online and I'll try to link that because I use it for a lot of things. Basically it's glue which is an adherent obviously sticks and it has some uh, things like cornstarch in it so as long as your colors are not too dark you can just put this over your shiny coat and then it will dry matte All right, so I will just quickly finish this. Now, when you put it on, you kind of have to watch how you put it on because it will leave streaks. So that's why I say I might leave the other one. I mean, you could go over it more than once. It would just take longer to dry. You do have to let it sit. All right, so now it has to dry. So I will put that to the side. Okay, for this one, we need, we need it cleaned up. We're going to make a, um, a tag with the window, but it's also going to have a slot there so that we can have like a pullout piece. I'm so glad now that I kept all those Kleenex boxes because uh, they were starting to pile up in my house and I'm like, what am I going to do with them? And then 
I got this idea the other day. I was watching um, Paper Chasing Chasing Paper. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember her name. She was making a a journal, I think it was, with a small one. And there was so much going on with that one, I just thought, no. And I don't have any of those small boxes, so I thought I'm just going to see what, what, if anything, I can come up with, because there must be something. So then I started, um, I, st I opened it up, and I laid it down, and I'm like, okay, so what is there, what is it about this thing that I can do? And it was at this stage when I thought, huh, tag. <laughs> so that was a aha moment for me. Okay. So the back of this we can pull out, or we can't pull it out yet because it's not in there, but we can measure to make sure it will fit. And yes, that should be fine. All right, now, before I glue this together, I want to put something on the back of this. And that might be tricky as well. So what I was thinking was, kind of partial to music paper. How about this piece just sitting here? It's actually not bad except there's writing on that part about this way. Hey, that looks even better. There's a crease in it because I coffee dyed it. That's okay. When we glue it down, it should be all right. Okay, so this has to be the width of that which is one, two, three, at least four inches. So let's do this. hoping that if I glue that part on and then close that and then glue that part on. I'm hoping that will work. I want this piece to sit against the back so that we can still slide something in here. So this will be the back of the window, not the front. The front of the window, we could probably do something see-through if you have, um, I have some extra um, laminating pouches. And so I could put that on the front here. It's a little too long though, so I need to trim it. Just use this as a guide. And if you want to ink that opening, you might want to do that now. Use my glue gun, hoping that will suffice. And then this piece. Let's 
see how I can center it. There, at least that will be centered. Okay, remind me to do that when I get to it. Okay, so here, I'm just gonna go quickly, hopefully, around the opening. Oh, and then I forget to ink it. This is now hard. So I can just pull it off. All right, I'm going to ink it now. Because I took the sandpaper to it, the edge definitely will appreciate some ink. I'm gonna try and pull this off. Okay, not too bad. Then Okay, then I'm going to try it again. this glue. It should work. After it dries, it should be all right. It just might take a little while to dry. I think the Barely Art works on plastic. Okay, then back to this piece. I'm going to put the glue on this piece. That will be easy. Easy enough, right? So, if there's one side you want down first, you need to take that into account. I don't think it matters on this one. Okay, and then we'll do this side. There is going to be a slight overlap. So I'm going to do like a ridge right along the edge and I'm going to build that up quite a bit so that hopefully it will kind of come up and hold like I don't necessarily want it to squeeze through here but if it comes up a little bit that would be nice and I could get a nice Feel going there. I did get some out. Okay. Now I could have sanded this part too because it doesn't look super great. And after it dries, I might still do that because it is kind of. I'm going to need to um, do something else with that yet. Maybe add another ridge of glue. Okay, so then I can even out the bottom or trim it up some. Doesn't look quite straight, but that could be all the lines and the pattern too. box. Okay, maybe like that. 
All right, then I just need to decide which is the top and which is the bottom. I actually think if I could get this straight, I might prefer that for the top. All right, it's time to do the the angle cut. Okay. That's not looking too bad so far. So there's that. All right, I'm going to say that's dry. And now I'm just going to somehow and it's scratching the design. Of course it is. You know, it might not be worth it because if I continue, it'll scratch it all. I might already have to cover that up with something. I should have thought of it sooner. I'm just thinking of there might be another way where I could smooth that out. The only thing maybe is to put like a ridge of glue. I should have done a better job of trimming that earlier. So I might have to just cover it with something. Hmm. I'm going to try this and then I'll go from there. If this doesn't work very well, then I'll have to cover it. And I don't see this working because the glue is not... I don't have one of those, um, I don't know, I should have changed the tip on the glue, I guess, if I wanted it to go in there so nice, because this way the glue will show up and it'll probably dry, clear, and shiny. But the front worked, so I'm happy about that. Now, we need, do we need a hole there? Maybe not, because we're going to want things to go. In and out of there. And I was just thinking, hey, I can rub the glue off. Oh, good. Now I won't have to cover it if I don't want to. Because I've put enough glue in there that yes, I can feel the seam, but it's not going to hurt anybody. It smoothed it out enough. Okay. Good, then I don't have to cover the back. I can still see the lines there, but... That's okay. I think I think I'm happy with that part. Okay, so then I probably will ink it some more. Because why not? Just the sides. Oh, 
I'll be honest, up until now, I didn't really think I could think of anything to do that hadn't been done before. And who knows? It's not like I said, somebody may very well have done this before, but I haven't seen it. Doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, but for myself, I'm confident that I thought of this. Someone else may have thought of it at some point as well, but there's a feeling you get when you uh, think you found something that nobody else has found. So, just kind of excited about that, I guess. All right, so this part is going to be like it's going to be like a tag within a tag, I guess. Oh, you know what we have to do? We have to put glue on the bottom. Yes, we do. Okay. Because we don't want stuff coming out. I'm going to put some clips on there. Hopefully that will seal the deal. Okay, so then this is going to be roughly how big our spot is. Look at that. I don't need product placement, although I'm happy for their box. Okay, so that's about as deep as we're going to have it go in. So then, yeah, we can put like some kind of a pulley-outy thing over here, and then we're going to need to... Did I just say pulley-outy thing? I did. Sorry. Um. <laughs> okay. I think I'm just going to trim this in line with the box there. And then we can go ahead and decorate this piece. What do we want? I'm going to sand this side down. And I'm going to sand the edges this time as well. So I'll be back. Okay, so I sanded it enough so that I can put glue on there and it'll stick. So, as I was sanding, I was thinking this would make or could make an amazing piece to a journal because what you could do is you could attach this part as a belly band. So then you could slip things in through there. Okay, you could also hinge it in. You could make this like a flippy pad or something. There's enough room in there that you could put quite a bit. Like, I'm just saying, there's room in there. You could add some writing paper or something if you wanted to, I wouldn't have to, but. Right now I'm trying to think of what I want people to see when they look in the window. I wanna keep in mind the colors. This pattern has a little bit of busyness to it. So let's go with side number one. Let's do this side first. I might not even need to do the other side. Because I just realized it's already that color. I'm 
going to wrap it and then I'm going to put like a journaling piece on there or something. I can do the, the pretty part over here. Let's see how it works out. Take that edge off. So tell me, do you have a lot of um, tissue boxes hanging around and you've been saving them? Are you going to give this a try? I think this will be so cool. Okay, I'm gonna put some blue under there. Some blue here. there. I was thinking just to highlight those areas. Might give them a bit more definition. Okay, because this part's gonna likely go there. have the writing on it. What do we want to put on here for people to write on? Could be that. Coffee dyed paper. It's very thin cardstock. I wouldn't even call it cardstock. But they called it cardstock when I bought it. It's actually 90 pounds, um, 90 pound weight. I still don't think it's, because when I hear of other cardstock, how heavy it is and how thick, I'm like, why does it all get classified as cardstock? It makes no sense. Anyways, no whining. No whining today. So I'm just going to trim this off. get all the way to the edge. This should be dry by now. Maybe we can move the clamps over. If we need clamps. for a few seconds, I guess. Sorry, I can't really see it because I'm trying to hold it away from me so you can see. 
All right, it's thin. We'll definitely be inking that because the one side shows. And we'll be putting more glue in here. want it right at the edge. Something like that. And then we'll just let that sit for a few minutes. This one should be done by now. They're okay. They might need to be trimmed a little more. Just trimmed a bit more so they so they don't stick out too much over here. Yeah, because we're gonna um, ink that a little bit yet. All right, so that should be done. Trim it till you're happy, I guess. Okay. I think that's good. Oops. I want it to be straight at the bottom. Okay. Put these away. Okay, so then I got it. All right, so we have this, and we have this ready to go in, and we don't want it to go in any further. So, what I'm going to do. This will be the journaling spot. This will be the decorated part. So when I go to put the decoration on here, Well, so much for my mask make. I'm not even getting one done. <laughs> but once I have it, once I have like a formula, I think it will be okay. That's not bad, I guess. I mean, wasn't there before. It's okay. I think I'm going to go with that. And then I have to glue it down. I might have to Shorten the tag a bit because the paper is not quite tall enough, wide enough. So 
something like that. I'm going to cut this down a bit over here. And then I'm going to smooth that out a little. Hopefully it's not too big. Okay, there's that. Then it definitely needs to be inked. I really do like the inking. It hides so many imperfections. Okay. So, flowers on the inside. You could put something on the outside if you wanted. I'm going to leave that for now because this video is getting so long. Okay, then what I do want... Huh. We need like a tab for that. Pull it out, in and out. Oh, 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 oh. Um, treasure books, Natasha. She did those um, laminated lace pieces, which I also did. And I have some left here. Um, don't really have anything super wide, but I guess it wouldn't have to be super wide. It just has to be wide enough. I don't know, long enough, I guess. Go this way. Like this. See, originally I was going to put a hole in there and then put a ribbon in and tie a bow. But then it won't go smoothly in there. So that's kind of a no. But if I did this and made that a tab, I think that would look good. Let's do that. Do I want to leave some plastic on the side? I think I will because it just makes it a little bit wider. Like so. And then I'm going to um, staple it. Now, I want this to be straight. And I can't see both sides at the same time, so that's why this is a little cumbersome. Okay, so here's the front. That looks straighter. Okay. Better. So there's some lace. Now, yes, I could have. I wouldn't have needed the laminate. I could have just put lace on. But this is what came to me, so that's what I went with. I'm going to put some washi tape on there. So that... Um, it doesn't catch or poke on anything. It rips. 
when you don't want it to. All right, let's see. There, that's a little bit of a decoration in the back too, yet, so. All right, there. Okay, sorry guys, I, th I was hoping to get more than one done, but um, hopefully that gives you some ideas as to how to repurpose one of those long tissue boxes. There, see, and then it'll, you'll know that something is in there. You can pull it out. I guess, like I said, you could further decorate it. And, um, let me see. I might have to put this one in my ideas journal. So, yeah, it's like the perfect size. Um, I could have cut it down a bit, but... I mean, if I really wanted to, I still could, but I'm not going to. What I was going to say is you can use this like a, I mentioned this before, you can use it like a belly band, just attach it on the top and on the bottom, and then you can insert things in the back. Now it is catching a little bit on the ridge there, so you might want to even those up and not have one hanging over a little bit if you want to do that. Or you could, so if it's going down anyways, you could cover this bit of a bump there and then you'd be able to slide things in. See it's catching on that little ridge there. So, yeah, so many possibilities. For myself, I was just thinking that I might um, just attach it with a paper clip or something. Or do the flip thing. Like, attach it with a hinge. I don't know, I kind of like that idea too. Now, there's nothing really pretty on the back side of it to warrant that, but if I had this over here, I could flip that out if I wanted to. So many ways this could go. And uh, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. What are you going to do? Um, as for me, I'm going to end this video and let you all get on with your crafting. So thanks for tuning in today and hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll see you again next time. Remember, God loves you. Jesus died for you. Bye for now.